This piece is made up of 25 individually etched plates. You can see the seams between these which make up the overall image that we're all made and butted together in order to give the, the ultimate experience. <laughs> Uh, this is the lazy person's viewing experience. In case you don't feel like walking back and forth. <laughs> so you'll notice that as the light transitions between the end and the front, that the, the jump between those two edges is minimized when you're right in the center. So what we're hoping that you can perceive here is the action potential traveling out on some computation happening in the cerebral cortex or whatever region you happen to be looking at, and then that information uh, wherein there's a lot more kind of chaotic localized activity happening, which is essentially the correlate of uh, logic and consciousness, well, not necessarily consciousness, but um, self evaluation, uh, kind of higher order conscious uh, aspects. So here's the animation a little bit slower uh, for you to be able to see this better. And, uh, feel free to come up and, and see it closer if you'd like. The, the program will, will repeat. Great. On what slice of the brain we were going to make. And then myself and the neuroscience students that helped with this project, they were connected to. And we used that information to paint each category of these neurons, maybe 10 examples of each. Those were scanned into the computer and then used as a vector shape that we then painted down these vast swaths of neurons. Those neurons were then reduced to coordinate points that we then used to, to, uh, to calculate all of the circuit dynamics. So for example, if we had 100 points here coming from thalamus into the motor cortex, which is right here, what Brian's algorithm does is it routes this action potential from these neurons through these axons up in this region, and based upon some of the variables that were built in, can make a calculation as to how it's going to be connected in order to most closely emulate the, how the brain is, is actually wired. So it's a mathematical model of what the wiring looks like in addition um, to it. That's the reaction we were hoping to get. <laughs> and now this is the one that I'm going to make it. I'm curious to see the same way as the other one. You can see it a little bit better. Just wait until everybody gets into this one. The effect is. Max depth, just based upon the optics of the shapes and the edges like this in the surface, um, the most difficult reflective angle to satisfy is one where the light's completely 